So the Stonewall Revolution happened in June of 1969. There was a lot of supporters and people who came out of their house after they found out what amazing things were happening right on Christopher Street. Just like Lavari is turning it out in 2009 to show up for Out Music's Stonewall concert. How are you? Ryan, I just want to say publicly thank you very much because Ryan over here, seriously, when my first album came out, it was very, very hard to get press. And Ryan right here helped me gain a lot of press and I'm very, very grateful to you, seriously. And I want to say that publicly and I can't say it enough. Does that earn me a free hug? It earns you more than a hug. <laughs> So, Lavaria, if we can go backwards, what I want to do is we're celebrating 40 years of Stonewall, the actual revolution that happened on Christopher Street, where Pride is now celebrated around the world. Let's turn the tables back. Who would you like to thank who paved the way for us to have this great event right here at the Nokia Theater? I said this a bunch of times, and I, I've said this a bunch of times, and I can't stress this enough. Um, I want to thank every single drag queen out there. Um, I know that a lot of stories get, you know, stretched and whatnot, but I just asked somebody today, I was headlining Sage right today in Queens. They know all about Sylvia and Rivera. And somebody was there. Yeah, yeah. Somebody was and there P. Johnson. at Stonewall. And I asked him, I said, let me ask you something. You know how they always say that a drag queen is the one that first um, threw, you know, threw a shoe. How accurate is that? And they said it was pretty accurate. So I want to give a big shout out to drag queens. And to all y'all out there that get in bad, no, seriously, because this gets me tight, for real. All right, so solid. all y'all out there that be, be, be talking, be talking crap about drag queens or be embarrassed to have drag queens, you'll wake up. Because drag queens, transsexual people were the first ones to instigate that. So I'm sick of y'all that be running around, all y'all thugs saying, oh, I don't want to be associated. Because if it wasn't for them, this would not have went down or would have taken longer. So much respect to drag queens. I mean, much respect to everybody, but extra special respect to drag queens and transsexuals in our community. For real. Lavari, as a youth, I love that you bridge the gap because our transgendered folks who were drag queens back then really were not just drag queens. They represented T and D. Tea, and you, you as a youth know that and I applaud you. Now who would you like to say thank you that's turning it out for us right now in our era? First of all, did you just say I'm a youth? I freaking love you. I'm 30 <laughs> years old. I love this. Thank you. Were, were you at Stonewall of June of 1969? No, I was I was actually born in... Youth, youth, youth. Oh, Stop youth. there. Stop there. Sorry. <laughs> who would you like to thank that's turning it out for us right now? All the artists here tonight, um, all the artists that aren't here tonight as well, I'm really big in supporting my fellow LGBT artists. And when you say artists, you mean singers, you mean filmmakers, you mean I photographers? Mean, I, I mean anybody, but particularly for tonight, um, all like Lori Michaels, like I said, Colton Ford, Jason Walker, Randy Jones, I mean, they've all like opened, we op came to me with open arms, and I'm such huge fans of theirs, even when I was first starting out. And I just love all of the LGBT artists that support each other. I think that's very important, because that's the only way we're all going to grow. You feel me? Not only do I feel you, I'm here with you. I'm Ryan, checking in with recording artist Lavari at the Pulse of New York City, Times Square, at the Nokia Theater.